Hello everyone, uh, still not a review for this video, but I have a couple of packages long awaited um, that have come all the way from China. Only took about three weeks. They were delayed a little bit from their expected time, but still wasn't too bad. Um, I've wanted to, to do a review on them for a little bit, and this isn't going to be a review because I, I just got them, but I still wanted to show them to you before I give them a full review. So we're going to unbox them and ink them up for the first time and see how they write. So let's check them out. Okay, so all right, let's open these up. Let's see. Can't really pull my camera out too far just because I don't have the setup for that. But let's see what's in here. We got this. See what's in this one first. I, I actually I ordered three pens and only two showed up today, so it's a mystery of which showed up and which didn't. Um, should be good. Ah, nice. All right, so that is. The Jinhao 100, the Centennial in Mandarin Yellow. Excited to try this one out. Let's pull it out of its sleeve right there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Cool looking nib. Definitely a, a nice color, that's for sure. I don't have too many yellow pens. I'm not sure I have any yellow pens, but I've always liked the uh, Mandarin Duo Folds and. I think this page pays homage to it quite nicely. So, excited to try that one out. And then, I think, because this is a big package, I think I know what this one is. Um, I've been wanting to do a review on the pen that this is. I think I already kind of have this pen, but there's also other stuff in here that's cool. Um, I don't know, maybe my mic is picking up those nice bubble wrap sounds for any of you ASMR folks that are into that. <laughs> Alright, let's pull that out. More tape. This one is packaged a little nicer. I believe this one was ordered from uh, Bobby. That's Office Supplies Pen. I know he always packages his stuff pretty well. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. So, this... Oh, that's... That's some loud... That's like a Sun Chips type plastic. <laughs> Okay, this one needs scissors too. Okay, so. Looks like the box got squished. <laughs> but, this is a Wing Sung 601. I already have one of these in army green with the ink window. Something on the body there. Um, I already have one of these in army green, but this is in black and with no ink window, so nice and sleek. But along with that, I also got three Fude nibs. I couldn't just get one, not because like I was it, they were irresistible, but just because that's how you bought them in packs of three, with a little tool to take the filling mechanism out to you know like give it silicone grease and stuff like that. The last thing is this, so we just take the cap off, and you can see it's a grip section. But instead of being black, it's clear. How about that? So let's try a little bit of experimentation and see uh, how this fits on this. Okay. Um, let's see, I think these just unscrew on the wing song. Yeah, they do. 
just like that. I didn't check to see the orientation. Maybe I should have done that. Um, first of all, let's just see how this goes on. All right. That actually doesn't look too bad. You can see the whole, I don't think this is called like a feed for some reason. Um, it's like an ink collector or something. I'm not an expert on this uh, model, but let's try and uh, get one of the uh, food nibs on here. So I think we just yank it. There we go. It's out. And then we can put this boy right back on. Let's align it a little better than that. That should be good. And let's see if this is properly aligned. If it's not, uh, it's not, we'll just adjust it. All right, it's a little bit to the right. Let's see if we can fix that. Ah, it touches the tip <laughs> when you're screwing it on. That's disconcerting. Okay, let's just. A little bit. Oh my, the nib is, there we go. Oh, I see. So it was getting hit by the... Ta-da! Now it's all aligned. I'm so proud of myself. It actually looks pretty cool too. Definitely not as regal as the black. And maybe I'll just switch them off every once in a while. I could also replace this on um, the army green one that I have, but we'll try this out for now with that cool Fude nib. So. These are the two pens that arrived, and now let's ink them up. Okay, all right, the two inks I selected for the wink song I'm gonna ink it with, Noodler's Black Swan and Australian Roses, and then the Chin Hao I'm gonna ink with, Monteverde Raven Noir. I don't really have any yellow inks to go with this, so I guess kind of black inks will work the best, but I don't know, if you have any ink suggestions, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Let's, uh, Put that nib back in there. Ooh, before we ink it up though, I'm gonna try out this tool, see if we can take off the back and lube up that wing sung filling system. Not that I think it needs it, the one that I have right now already in use works perfectly fine, but it's fun to tinker with things, isn't it? <laughs> uh, let's see, it should go on like that. There we go, now you just unscrew. And out comes the filling system. How about that? That is pretty cool. And yeah, that is that is all lubed up. I don't really need to do anything about that right now. You can see that is nice and lubed. So, um, yeah, I'll just leave that be. But it's cool to actually be able to do this. So if at any time it does need it, now I know I can actually fix it. So there we go. And just like that, it's working again. Cool stuff. All right, now let's fill it up. Um, oh. These metal capped Monteverde bottles are impossible to open. Change of plans. I'm probably gonna just have to go with standard Aurora Black. <laughs> I already have like two other pens inked up with Aurora Black, but well, it doesn't hurt to ink up another one. 
and you know I can actually open this bottle. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Um, interestingly enough, the nib has a very big uh, size indicator on there. A big ol' F, which I haven't really seen on any Jinha before. Alright, this bottle's like half gone, so I really gotta stick the pen down in there. But we got a little bit of ink, you can barely see it. But that's enough just to test it out. And then maybe I can ink it with something more exciting later. Again, if you have any suggestions, do do let me know. <laughs> I'm not used to it. I'm not used to having yellow pens, so I don't really know what works with them and what doesn't. All right, and then the wing song is seriously cool to fill up. Um, here to get you to see the ink going into that feed. I'm gonna see if I can turn the camera. There we go. Let's see if you can see this. Ooh, look at that. And I guess I'll just go until I stop seeing air bubbles. Like that. Alright, let's let a few drops of ink in there. Looks pretty crazy, huh? Let's see how they write. Okay, first, this wing song 601 black. And then it has a Fude replacement nib from Bobby. You can see if you write on a low angle, it works like that. Kind of like an architect, really. Although the downstrokes are still kind of broad, it gives you that same effect. And then up top, it's just kind of like a normal pen. So it's cool for drawing, um, sketching, and just general cool inky goodness. And this actually rides pretty well too. It's really smooth on the bottom, and that is seriously wet. I know I just filled it up, but I did also expel a few drops of ink, so the feet isn't totally floated. And then up top is actually quite a nice rider too. Pretty smooth. I like that. All right, let's write our uh, pangram. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And then like that, with the finer angle, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Nice. I really like that. That's that's gonna be really fun to use. And then of course it looks cool too. So I gotta say good first impression so far. Good first marks. So yeah that's the uh, Wing Sung. Now let's try out the Jin Hao Centennial. The Jin Hao 100. This one is Jinhao 100 Centennial. Oh wow, I like that too. It's got a roar of black in it, and that is really quite a smooth nib for how fine it is. It's quite pleasant to write with. Um, it's a fine steel nib. Let's see how wet it is. Of course, this is going to be a little wetter than usual, but the Aurora Black, it's a very wet ink, so this might be a slightly drier pen than normal, but um, when it, like, you know, the ink is not flooded in the feed. But still a really smooth writer, really nice. Hopefully this one turns out to be a hit as well. But yeah, I do like that. Mm, the quick brown fox jumps over 
A lazy dog. So yeah. Honestly, pleasantly surprised by both of these pens. Um, because the last shipment of <laughs> pens that I got from China was the uh, Lorelei 692, the Jinhao 85, and then the Wingsung 601 in Army Green. And pretty much all of those needed a little bit of writing adjustments with tuning and stuff. But honestly, I really like how both of these write. They look pretty good together, too. So, I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing and first inking of these two new pens. Hopefully I'll have some reviews on them coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, I hope you all have a great day. Bye.